Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. Grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. And let's get into the video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting the sub button. It's completely free to do so. And if you press the notification bell, guys, you'll be alerted when any of my new videos are uploaded. I am planning on doing a try-on haul every single Saturday. So I'll go around the shops, try on all the bits, see what's lovely for my lovely curves, ladies. Um, but... I got a little bit in a bit of a predicament. So I went away to Liverpool, um, not last weekend, the weekend before, so I couldn't. And then last weekend, the reason I've not been on and not done any videos isn't because I've decided to give it up, because some of you are really lovely and like, Rosie, where are you gone? And um, I had like the worst allergic reaction on my skin though, so it could have been so much worse. Um, so years ago, I used to have really bad reactions to nap bites. Like every nap bite come up like a boob, it would swell up, I'd get dark rings around it and the bite would actually look like a nipple. It was just horrendous. Um, so stuff to be on antihistamines, which obviously isn't strong. And I used to get this cream from the doctor. And it's probably like an amphosan or something. But it used to be horrendous. Um, and I used to hate getting bits. And my mum used to have to spray like a repellent on me all the time. It was just not nice as a kid. As I got to be an adult, that, that, that allergy just sort of stopped. If I get bitten by a nap bite, it's just like a nice normal little nap bite now, which is irritating. Um, but I had a bug bite of some kind on my knee. Um, about two, three weeks ago, and it literally looked like a cigar butt, but in skin colour on the end of my like on my knee, and it was awful. It was so itchy, but nothing really happened. And then within a couple of days, I went to Liverpool um, to do some work with Studio, which was fantastic. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, basically I got asked to work with Studio and do some modelling with them, um, which was just amazing. And their clothes are fantastic, so I am going to do a Studio haul next week as well, which I think is really good because. They're really reasonable and actually they're so inclusive. They have so many size clothing. I think they go up to a size 30, um, which is just amazing. Um, anyway, I'm going right off track. So we went to Liverpool, it was all great. And then a couple of days later, I started to notice it was getting really itchy and I ended up coming up in hives and this rash all over me. It was so bad and it started blistering. The worst place was on my knee. It's completely gone down now. Like this is the rash that was left. Um, but it isn't that bad. But honestly, I was in no state of mind to be trying on clothes. I felt uncomfortable, hot and sticky. I literally was just putting loads of cream on myself, antihistamines up, and just chilling in my PJs. Um, so yeah, I just weren't feeling up to it. So I don't, I've not done a try on, but I am planning on doing it every Saturday again. But that's a little story time. Let's get into the try on haul, because I'm already getting a bit sweaty. Just been for a walk with the baby. Um, so this is the new look try on haul anyway that I promised two weeks ago, but obviously I haven't delivered just for those reasons. Um, but they're all still in stock, I've checked. I'm gonna leave all the links below in the description box so you can go ahead as well. And if they do have the tall, petite, or curved ranges available, I will try and link them as well because I know some of you are different heights and shapes and sizes. Um, but the first one I wanted to show you was this one. So some of these dresses I ordered two weeks ago and some of them I ordered last week. So these are the newer ones. This has only just arrived. This is gorgeous it's the most beautiful like lemon green and sort of like white daisies all over it the sleeve is like a little angel sleeve which is just beautiful i love this because i am carrying more little weight on my arms here and i love that it sort of covers it up but i feel nice and cold in the summer i've also it's got a nice v here it's not too deep i will say i find it a little bit more revealing once i fed albert because i feel like the size 16 my boobs deflate so much that actually I've, I've got a bit more room here so probably could have done with a 14 which would have made it a bit more less revealing but when i've not fed him yeah it fits perfectly so perhaps you could size down in this when i first put it on it was really really fitted onto my waist like this. But as I've worn it throughout the day, it really has loosened up and it's got a lot more space and space to play with. So I recommend you probably could downsize in this. So by the time you've worn it for about 30 minutes or something, it will be your actual size, but you can have it a bit oversized if you want. It's buttoned all the way down the front, which is really nice. And it's got this tiny little split that sort of starts about this much below your knee, right down to mid length so this is like a midi dress but because i'm obviously five three it's coming a little bit longer so it's this much above my ankles it's really really nice and it comes in over the bum and then at the waist right, guys had to run down mum drew is gary got home early from work today um but the kids are having tutored this evening so gary just like called me down he was like rose <laughs> what's this so 
Right, so this is really lovely. So this is 29 99 which I think is really good. And it's one of these dresses where I feel like you could really wear this with lovely strappy sandals. You could wear this to a wedding or a party, barbecue parties, but you can also wear this with some flip-flops, chuck it on or some trainers on a school run every day. You can really dress it up or dress it down. I think this is just beautiful. Um, so as usual, I've got my Spanx on underneath and a bra from Asta, because sometimes I get asked where my bras are from. I actually bought some bras, guys which you'll be surprised to know. All of these dresses I've got in size 16, um, but <laughs> these are actually really nice. They're just really nice cotton bras. They're not padded as in thick padded, but they're thick as in like the actual material of it, which I really like, because I'm finding at the minute, I don't like wearing anything that's got any padding in it at all, but because I have to wear breast pads, you can see the shape of the breast pad from any other bra. So really, really nice, the sort of smoothie boobs over. They come in a pack of two for 14 pounds, which I thought was amazing. So I've got a black one and a white one, and I think they do them in a pink and a gray as well. Um, so the next dress I'm gonna try on is a bit creased, <laughs> cause I have been wearing this so much. So this dress was 27.99. This dress is beautiful. Do wash it on its own because the red doesn't spade from the dress, but it does run out. So don't wash it with anything unless it's something red. Um, this is like a linen-y sort of material dress. And this is a midi. And I know they do this in the curve range as well and in the petite and the tall range too. Um, all the same prices. But I wore this when I went to that studio job. I also, and so many of you loved it. And I also wore it when I went to take the kids to the Emirates Stadium, we went to Arsenal. So I've been getting questions about this dress so much. Um, and normally I have a tan, so it looks really nice with the tan color. This is like the most gorgeous red. What I love about it is, is it don't matter what size boobs you've got. I love this shared material, it just sort of sucks you in, makes your boobs nice and perky. Even when I'm not wearing a bra, it just looks really nice because it sort of fits you in without being uncomfortable. It's got these lovely little flutter sleeves on it. By all means wear a cardigan, but I have my arms out because I just don't care. And even though I haven't got tan on either, I still don't care. You can still have your arms out and still look gorgeous, girls. Um, I love that it comes in under the waist. It also is a midi, so I'd say it's about that much below my knee. It's incredibly creased because I haven't ironed it yet, but I thought, you know what, you will understand that I'm not ironing it just for <laughs> a video. Because my wardrobe's crammed at the minute, I've got to have a sort out, and if I hang it in my wardrobe once it's ironed, it's gonna end up getting creased, squished up, so I'll only iron it when I'm gonna wear it. Um, and it's also got this little detail here and then a ruffle out. This is just gorgeous. When I've been wearing it, when I've been out, I've had so many people ask me where it's from. It's lovely, and yet again, summer, or you could style this up for sort of a wedding. I could definitely see wearing like a little red fascinator with this. Nice little high heels or little shoes, be really lovely. Or even go like 50 style, tie your hair up, or big blow dry, a little bit of red lipstick. It's really, really beautiful dress. 27 99 and I love this one. Oh, and I've got something really, really similar in black as well. This one that I'm gonna show you comes in loads of different colors. So it comes in like a sage green, like a teal blue, a pink, a white, a brown, and the black. So I bought the black because I do love a black summer dress. And this is a maxi as well. So I know some of you really love a maxi dress. Yet again, it's in the shirt material and it's a size 16. And I think this one's 27 as well. I will put all the uh, links below in the description. This one's really, really lovely. So this one's more of a square neck. So it hasn't got the sweetheart shape at the front. So if you don't like having slight, slight cleavage, then this is more for you, it's more of the milkmaid style. It's really beautiful and it's got the really lovely little angel fluttery sleeves on it. It's got here as well, like straps, not sleeves, not sleeves. And it's got the shirt material here again to the waist. It's also got like a hem bit here, which is at the, your hips here, which I think accentuates it. And then another ruffle, roughly where the knee is. This is, Yet again, I think it's meant to be a midi, but because I'm sure it's coming up literally to my ankle right here when I stand up. This is in like a really crinkled material. I'm gonna try and come up to the camera so you can roughly see it. It's got like this kind of weird checked material to it, which you can't see unless you look it up close. So you don't really have to iron it, if that makes sense. It's, so, it's like a cheesecloth, that's it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, but this is so big and smocky. You could downsize this. This would be a beautiful maternity. That red one would also be a beautiful maternity. 
Um, it's really nice. If you've got a bit of a belly that you want to cover up, you can do that. You can also wear this without a bra because the shearing is loose enough that it's not uncomfortable, but it's tight enough that it holds your Babylon in because my boobs are normally like here. No word of a lie. Um, <laughs> so it fits really, really nicely and it looks really nice for tan and some gold jewellery and stuff. And it looks nice with just some flip flops and a little straw bag as well. So I really like this. And the other one they had it in, the pink was beautiful. They had it in like this colour pink as well. Um, but I wanted to get it in a slightly different style. So I got this pink dress instead. Oh, also, these cotton dresses, they are part of the new look cotton initiative. So better, better cotton. And um, they're like the kind range. So I'm going to show you. I'm out of breath, guys. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm not. I'm so out of breath. It's unreal. <laughs> Ah, so this one was $33.99, but it's got a bit more of a shape to it. Now, this is a bit of a daredevil dress again. I say daredevil when it's got cutouts on the back and stuff. So I obviously don't wear spanks under my clothes, um, because I don't need to, because if my belly's a little bit hanging out, if my lavandals are hanging out, I'm just sexy. I can't help it. So you don't need to cover up your curves, girls. You can just, all your lumps and bumps and your cellulite. We've all got it going on and we still look mag magnificent in it anyway. So I've got this pink dress. Now I could have got the pink dress in black style, but I went for this because I'm just brave. <laughs> so I've not actually tried this on yet. So, you know, we'll see how brave I am. What's the bet my bad Babylon's not even fitting it? Oh, I look like a night you're saying on me. So, <laughs> oh, this might be one of the ones where I need the tan to feel the look. Do you know what I mean? And I've got the tan on and I'll be like, yeah, I'm looking so good, guys. It's kind of like mixing with my very pinky sort of fleshy colour as it is because I'm so pale. Now, it's got the same sort of sleeve. I have got some longer sleeve ones coming in a minute if you are more conscious. But you can wear these with little cardigans or shawls if you want to. Now, the reason why I love this is because I thought it was a slightly different style, a bit more Grecian, but it has got the same shirt material. <laughs> make sure I've got this right, because I'm going to make this, I'm going to do this no justice. So it's got the shirt panel at the back here, but then it's got a little cut out here. So I am going to roll my Spanx down, because you're going to see how beautiful it looks on a curvy lady. <laughs> That's all right, I'm not going to get me nearly out. That'd be inappropriate, wouldn't it? Um, but... I think you really can get away with it, even if you are on the chubby side, even if you have got love handles. Obviously, I'm blending in with it a little bit, but I think with a little bit of tan on my back, I don't care that I've got like, I ain't got a flat pack, do you know what I mean? A bit of chub hanging out of here, but it's fine. And it's also got the little bit of cuts here. And I think I'm really pulling it off. It's in that cheesecloth material, but I think this definitely does need an iron. And this also has got a double layer underneath, obviously, because it's such a pale colour. Even though it's double lined, you still can see the dark through it. So you're definitely going to need to invest in some light knickers. When I say invest in light knickers, most of my knickers are like full-on granny panties in black. Um, so this is, yet again, a midi length. I'm like a little sugar plum fairy in this dress. Um, but they do this in so many different colours as well, just like the black dress. But I'm actually digging it. I actually like it. I don't care if anyone does, I do. And this one's $33.99. <laughs> so that one's cheaper, so actually it probably is a bit nicer, but I can just feel the vibes of it. I think once I'm tanned, straw bag, hair blow dried, zhuzhed up, like really big. I'm just selling you it now. Really big hair. Nice watch, nice necklace. I've already said straw bag, yeah. Oh, and some wedgie shoes. Little pink toenails, maybe a little French polish on the fingers. I just feel like a very sophisticated sugar plum fairy, and I think you'll agree with me. So I've got this one as well. <laughs> and you know, I'm always like, I don't keep all of the clothes. Are you ready? The belly's out over the actual suit now, the little belly dance. And um, I'm like, I don't keep all of the clothes. Well, naturally, I don't normally, but do you know what? I feel like I want to treat myself, guys. I'm sick and tired of not keeping the dresses. I want to keep some of the dresses and I just feel really good in these. I need some summer dresses as it goes. Because I didn't really buy any last summer. Or keep any when I've done trials. I didn't really do hard any trials last year. Um, but I didn't keep any of the stuff. Because I was obviously pregnant. And I thought, what a waste it will be to buy stuff and then it not fit me. So I was just making use of my own wardrobe. So I just feel like I want a few new bits. 
Now, I'd done a new look try on haul probably about six months ago, and it was not long after I had the baby, and I showed you the new look dress. Now, they are all the shirt dresses that have like the long mid axi or like midi length. They're beautiful. Well, I had them in loads of different colours, and they just wash up day in, like day in, day out. They're just lovely. Now they've come and give it a little bit of an alternative look, so they're more in a linen material rather than that sort of don't need to iron material, which is a bit annoying. But I suppose it makes it look a bit different. And <laughs> I look like going in the borrow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, why did you go for lime? They had so many colours, but I went for lime. I'm just feeling really good in colour at the minute. So yet again, this has got the little cutout pieces. By all means, put a different coloured vest top underneath, girls, if you want to. Buy a lime vest top and new look and put it underneath if you want. So it's got the big puffy sleeves. I love the sleeves. I think it's really slimming, actually. I love that it comes sort of here, about three quarter length here. Shirt again, sweetheart shapes so are not as squared as the normal ones. And then it's got two little, little eye sort of cutouts. And I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna have a right workout here. Pulling these down. <laughs> I've also got this in white. Well, I actually think it don't even matter that you can be. I like it and I feel like a belly dancer in it. And I'm gonna, do you know what I'm gonna do? I don't normally tan my belly. I'm gonna just literally get my mitts and just tan this tiny section here. And Gary would be like, <laughs> why have you got two orange circles on the side? I'm like, it's all for the dress, babe. It's all for them dress. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of me back and out for the pink dress. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, you've got loads and loads of room, so if you're quite hippie, you've got loads and loads of space. Like I say, you can wear a vest top under this, but I am 30 years old, I can't even believe that. I'm 30 years old, and I know so many people think I look older, but I'm embracing my youth. I want cutouts, but if you don't want cutouts, wear a bright different coloured vest top underneath. Um, so then yet again, another little hem here, and then again, about this much above my ankle, which is just, I really like these dresses. I feel really good in them. I feel like they've got a swish factor. And I feel like all these colors go really nice to sort of gold jewelry. I'm really into gold jewelry at the minute. Um, I've got gold jewelry money at the minute, so uh, I'm buying it from Olivia Byrne. Oh. Right, now let's get on to, did I show you the pink, other pink dress? I've got another pink dress. That might be in the wardrobe because I've worn that. Look at me forgetting where I put stuff. These I've not worn yet, so you're going to be new witnesses to these, just as I am. So how much was the green dress, actually? That was $29.99. So this dress is $29.99 as well. I love this. Now, I can't miss out on it because I know it's not very summery, but I love it. I love anything star print. I love anything with a collar. I've got, I, you know, I, do you remember Kate Nash, the singer? I've just got her vibes. Or like... Zoe Deschanel from My Girl or something, is it? Or New Girl. Yeah, I've just got them vibes. Now, this is a short dress and it looks incredibly short on the website. If you are tall, you might have to deal with it being quite short. This is a this is part of the tall section. They don't do it in the regular section. But my thinking is sometimes I buy short dresses in the tall section because it makes the sleeves a little bit longer and it makes the body a little bit longer. So they're not short on me. Um... So I think the regular sleeve is meant to sort of be like there, but it's coming a bit three quarter length because I am shorter. And on the model that's tall, it's probably about that much above her knee, but it is to my knees on here. My little scabby knees, bless them. Um, and it is a smock dress. So it's not like the most flattering in the world, but I do love a smock dress. And I literally can see me doing Halloween and pumpkin picking in this. Please don't tell me off, but we all know that's coming literally very, very soon. Because um, <laughs> I'm obsessed. And it's got this lovely little colour on it. Look, like little Peter Pan collar. How cute is that? And I think you could even tie like a nice little bow underneath this, where to the trainers. But I'm sort of, I like short dresses, because I can wear my black tights. And I know by the time that sort of time period comes around, all of these style dresses come in fashion and they sell out so quickly. So I wanted to get my hands on it because I just thought it was really, really beautiful. Really like it, it's got a swish factor to it. It's got a little hem here as well where it frays out again and it comes in at the waist but it is smoky, so a bit more. And it's got the little puff sleeves on it as well but I do really like this so hopefully you will like it too. I'm really going for grungy vibes because as I'm getting sweatier on the camera, it's making me more of a rock chick vibes and I think you can see what I'm going for. 
think I've probably been showing you all dressed with messy hair since I was trying to sell you the pink one going up there just trying to make my hair all shushed up watch me not be able to get this off now and this has got lovely like little stars on it in like a beige sort of no they're white it's my eyesight going have to find the other pink dress but while well, we've got it to hand and I've got the green dress in white as well I haven't got the green dress in white I'm lying the white one don't have cutouts the white one is exactly the same as this top but in the dress form and I did try on the black dress of this in my last try on haul which is in the wardrobe which I'm more than happy to try on for you guys because I shared the link today because I had two DMs um, over the week asking for the link of the dress so i popped it up today so if you're what, what's watched on my instagram today you might want to see what the dress looks like on so i'm more happy to show you i picked up this top now they have this top in loads of different colors and they're in the sale in a few of the different colors now if you're more of a trouser wearer rather than you know a dress person how gorgeous are these peplum tops so they come in here, they've got like this little milkmaid tie up bit here, nice big puff sleeves, covers your arms quite nicely, comes in with this shoe material here and then pops out so you sort of covers belly or anything like that. Wear this with a little pair of jeans, skinny jeans, some nice little tan sandals. I would wear this with like maybe some black skinny jeans or like my dark inky blue skinny jeans. Can't bother to get them out right now because we all know the struggle is going to be real. Um, <laughs> but I think that they'll look really, really nice. Also... They have this in pink. Now I showed you the pink option because I personally think the pink one looks the nicest on the website. It's not that color pink. It's more of a, it's in between that color and the cerise. It's like a bubblegum pink. It's really lovely. Sorry guys, I just stood there for like the last five seconds. <laughs> Trying to get my words out. I can't, I'm just like little, little, little. I'm like the human lizard. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I've got this top in black. And they've also got it in pink. So I showed you in the pink online because I think the pink's the nicest colour, if I'm honest. Um, and I think sometimes we're all a little bit stuck in our comfort zone and don't go for colour. So I like to show you the colour ones rather than the black ones sometimes. Um, and then just say, oh, they do it in black as well. But I did buy the black because I cowered it out because I've got lime green, red and pink dresses. So I thought I can go for a casual, you know. And I think this would look really nice, even with some linen trousers, some sunglasses on the head. Not that big, obviously. We're not at a party in Ibiza. Little sunglasses on my head. And uh, yeah, I think this will look really nice with some like sling back tan sandals. Very stylish, I'm feeling it. And um, so yeah, do you know what I bought as well? It isn't a Primark haul, but we all know what I'm like. I bought an orange blazer, guys, from Primark. An orange blazer. So I was showing you blazers. I ordered one off Boohoo. And the material was a bit slacking. I don't know why I'm surprised sometimes. When I order stuff, I'm just like, it's not that great. Um, I also ordered a dress from, um, oh, that was it. Pretty Little, that were Pretty Little Thing. Misguided, that's the one. Yeah, and the material just sometimes comes up a bit shocking. It just annoys me. Because then I think sometimes it might look okay on the camera. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, that's nice. And then when it comes, it's like, it's quite cheaply made, a nice fast fashion, but new looks quite relatively good pricing and it's still nice material. So anyway, I went Primark and I got an orange blazer. Obviously, can't be wearing these puffy sleeves a bit because it's just going to make me look like Michelin man arms. Let me take this off. I know it's nothing to do with this, but I just wanted to show you because I'm not going to be doing a Primark haul just yet. And I just thought, I can't not show you this because they've got it in Zara. I tried to get it in Zara when I went down London for my 30th. And they had it in pink and they had it in orange. And we all know what Zara's like. I look like a sausage trying to bust out of his skin. So when I went into Primark, now this is a size 14 as well, guys. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna lie to you, it don't do up. I'm not gonna sell you the dream too much. It don't do up, but I'm not gonna be doing it up because I'm not an executive. And also I'm not one of them women to sort of wear a blazer done up with sort of my boobs like this and wear it with my jeans with nothing on because I can't not wear a bra. My boobs would be here. I would have the cleavage there and it would look like a nunny rather than boobs. So I can't do that. Even with boob tape, I just can't do it. So I've got this and I'm thinking white or black vest top with like high waisted skinny jeans and some little high heel sandals. I don't even know who I think I am because I don't even go out very much um, to, to things to wear stuff like this. But I am thinking perhaps one day having cocktails with my friends, even though I don't drink, 
you know, I'll have a mocktail and I'm loving this blazer. It was 22 pound, I think. Look at the colour of it. Love this. I thought I'd show you it anyway, because losing the will to live here. 23 pounds and I've got it in a size 40. And I might even keep the tag on it and just casually have it hang out. I'm like, so you've left your tag out. Oh, me in a full wing, you know. No, I don't care. I don't actually care what size I am. So, right, guys. <laughs> that has been my new look slash Primark blazer haul. Hopefully you've enjoyed that, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. I'll leave all the links below in the description box. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye.